I, I've had been bothered by the size of this jackrabbit. I've questioned myself over and over again whether I got the scaling right or not. And uh, I was going by really poor material. The rabbit is two feet, generally, from the nose to the uh, end of his butt or tail. And I was trying to remember the size of his head, which I have to go by because I have to scale everything from the head measurement of the cowboy. And uh, the head measurement is eight and a half to nine inches. And so I went with nine inches for the, the cowboy's head length. And if I double that, that's 18 inches, which would give me almost two feet by, you know, minus four inches. So that's how I came up with this uh, scale, but I came, I came up with the scale wrong. And so I've revamped my scale to a more accurate scale. And this is the size of the, the jackrabbit should be right here. Time to play with some clay. As you can see, this uh, jackrabbit here is a whole lot bigger than this jackrabbit here. This is a two foot. What I did was I measured a skull I have. I have a horse's skull that was sent to me a long time ago, probably about 30 years ago. And uh, I measured it from the back of the head to the front of the nose, or the front of the teeth, and it measures 22 inches. So I've uh, used my caliper to show me that my red, the one I've got now, is almost double the size of uh, the uh, correctly scaled jackrabbit here. I'm debating on whether to redo this jackrabbit now or later. And uh, I'm tempted to do it now. I've already made this one, so I've got everything down. I've got memory in, in how I created it, so I think it'll go faster than it did the first time. So I'm thinking I'm just going to go ahead and re-sculpt re this rabbit. But uh, I've got to work things out how I'm going to do that and... Uh, make it all work out. So I'm not certain I'm going to take this over to the uh, foundry on Friday. Because if I got to make that major change, uh, I mean, the total length of the new rabbit's going to have, his back legs will only cut, it comes out to here, but his back legs will come out to here on the new one uh, in the running position. So it's going to be quite a big change in size. And I can't, Com combine the tail of the horse with jackrabbit if I'm not going to do this jackrabbit. So there's no need for me to work on the tail of the horse right now. So I think what I'm going to do is put this aside for now. Well, no, I'm not going to put it aside. I think I'm going to go ahead and start the dra new jackrabbit. I'm just thinking as I'm going along here. Uh, so I think I'm going to redo the jackrabbit and I just got to figure out how I'm going to mount him and uh, make it work with the same insert that I've got now. It creates a whole different set of problems. All right, I made a armature for the rabbit matching the uh, skeletal structure, which I scaled to the scale that I had to make it to. Um, the the uh, total length of the uh, sculpture, or from the front nose of the at rabbit to the uh, tail or to his back end, is two and a quarter inches, and that goes right to there.
Now the hips or the the uh, thigh bones are pushed back a little, so that's going to lengthen it quite a bit. But uh, basically, the rabbit is exactly two and a quarter inches long, and that's the scale for this size piece. Uh, I sorry couldn't show you what I was doing because I've never made an armature like this one before. I mean, I had to figure out how to make the legs and then put the head on there. And I got it all figured out, but it's uh, it's complicated. Now I'm uh, waiting for the wood that I'm gonna mount this on to, uh, i show you here, to glue up. Whoops, let me get the pliers out of the way. Uh, that's the uh, wood mount that I'm going to put this rabbit on. And I'm going to put him on a lot closer to the, uh, the horse this time. But I can't drill any holes until this glue solidifies, which means I'm going to have to wait till, uh, well, next week now. Tomorrow I've got to go to the uh, storage and find those molds that I need to take over to the foundry uh, on Friday and uh, but at least I got this all worked out and I'm not going to take the uh, horse and the uh, rabbit over to the uh, foundry to get a bit on only because it's going to absolutely do no good because this is this is going to change the whole uh, structure of the, of the piece uh, having the rabbit a certain uh, dis, you know, a certain size difference. I might just sell copies of this small version of the rabbit, or this larger version of the rabbit, the jackrabbit, cast that up in bronze. I think I'll take that with me and see if I can get a bid on just that. So Friday I'll take uh, the clay of the uh, cowboy with the cup of joe and uh, I'll take the uh, jackrabbit that I made and get bids on both of them and uh, yeah it's going to be a fun trip I'm kind of anxious to find out how much that uh, cowboy will cost to cast I'll pick this like I, up like I said next week and uh, we'll get all this worked out at that time ah <sighs> I wish I didn't have to go over to the storage unit tomorrow, but I got to. I want to work on this. All right. I'll uh, see you guys next week. Or actually, I'll video my trip, I think. I don't know. You guys getting must be getting tired of those trip videos. By the way, before I could saw this wood today, I had to brush the snow off my saw. Yeah, we got about maybe an inch, two and eight, two inches of snow last night while I slept. All right, everybody. See you next time. Good night. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.